Hurricane Ian was a very large and harmful natural disaster. It was a Category 4 Atlantic hurricane. It was the deadliest and most destructive hurricane to strike Florida since the 1935 Labor Day hurricane. The hurricane caused damage across western Cuba and the southern United States, along with Florida and South Carolina, who got the worst effects. Only 32 hurricanes have made landfall as Category 4 in the continental U.S. since records began in 1851. On September 28th, Ian made landfall near Cayo Costa in southwestern Florida. Six days after the hurricane, there were at least 125 people who died and about 40,600 people displaced. The cost to fix all the damages is immense, anywhere from 53 to $74 billion. While the 18 feet of water flooded houses, the 185 mile per hour winds ripped trees from the ground. At one farm, three barn roofs blew off and killed over 250 animals. Unfortunately, more than 80% of Florida residents have an absence of flooding insurance. On September 29, 2022, in Tampa Bay, Florida, residents all over from southwestern Florida started the long and tremendous cleanup process. As our community expert Bonnie Burr states, Hurricane Ian was one of the worst hurricanes I've ever seen. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement has brought in high water vehicles for search and rescue. The DEP, Department of Environmental Protection, delivered 10 septic truck pumps to remove wastewater. More than a week after the dreadful natural disaster, more than 170,000 people are still without water and electricity, and most left without homes. In summer, Hurricane Ian is the deadliest natural disaster in the U.S. since 1935. Thank you for watching our video on Hurricane Ian. Credits to Bonnie Bear and Myla Ingle. Thank you.